Hey friends, have you ever wondered, is there a way to make people stop getting emails in Flowdesk for like a week or two? If you're doing a big course launch, let's say, and it's regarding a certain topic that's not applicable to all of your audience, Flowdesk has not rolled out a feature yet, but there is a workaround that I will show you. It's a little bit complicated, so I'm going to screen share. Um, but to summarize, what you will end up doing is creating a workflow that you send to your entire list um, through your launch sequence, and then um, in the first or second email, you'll have a little button that says, hey, if you're not interested in hearing about this course um, or you're not ready for it, go ahead and click this link. And it can be a really a link to anywhere. I have it landing on a page on my Show It website that I created. Super simple page that just says, yep, you've opted out of this you know, sequence all about my course. Here are some freebies you know, to serve you if you are interested. And then they will not get any more emails for the rest of the course, but at the same time, I'm not losing them in my subscriber list. Um, this way I'm like still giving them value, but they just might not be ready yet. So the way to go about this, I'm here on Flowdesk and we're gonna create a workflow. And then of course we're gonna have to create the workflow and add a, the first email and in that first email we'll have the opt out link. So here is my workflow, I'm gonna go in and edit it. But you'll just do new workflow, this button right here. And I just have a pretty, okay, so it starts the trigger. Um, and my trigger is uh, whatever you want to be. It's, it's the new segment that I'm going to just put everyone in my email list into. And then I have a time delay until when I want this launch to start, which is tomorrow. And then, of course, I have an email. So if you go into the email, um, you will see that I don't really have any other links except for the first link. If you do have multiple links, that is okay. You get to choose later on um, which link you're referring to. But I have just kept it super simple with the only link being opt out of these emails um, if you're not interested in hearing about the course. So once we have that, we're going to have a time delay. So you want to have a time delay of at least a day to kind of give people some a bit of time to opt out of that and then we're gonna add a condition so this condition step places subscribers who clicked on that link into a new segment and then when you're setting your course emails you just want to make sure to exclude that segment from um, who you're sending it to so here I have the yes and the yes so if they clicked on it it removes the subscribers from the segment launch SWC course. Um, and then you do need to build the no branch. It won't let you continue if you don't. So go ahead and just do a no branch. Uh, and all of the emails and steps there are for people who from there on will be in that no branch, if that makes sense. Um, so those are the people who are interested. And so I just said, because I needed something, I just put the action as add subscribers to the segment um, so that nothing would really happen. And then from here is where I can then go, great, okay, I'm gonna create another email, create an email or duplicate an existing and move on. Um, and then of course publish it and you should be good to go.